Well, Russell and her husband, uh, who was a CNN correspondent, were staying at a Motel 6 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, Russell says an armed robber pointed a gun at her in the parking lot, then forced her back into her motel room. And once they were inside, he demanded their belongings. But a gunfight broke out between this suspect and her husband. Her husband ended up shooting and killing this uh, would-be robber, but he was also shot three times, but is expected to survive. So joining me on the phone now from uh, New Mexico is Lynn Russell. Lynn, um, my goodness, I mean, I understand you're okay. Let's just begin with your, your husband. How is he doing? Well, a little better every day. You just have to, you know, take it very carefully. We were, uh, we were on a road trip. Just put the dog in the car and take a really long trip east coast to west coast. And we had just um, stopped to see some friends. And we had had a lovely meal. And we started to drive. We thought we put down some miles. And then we thought, you know, we just had a nice meal, a nice wine. Why don't we just pack it in for the night and get an early start? And about that time, we saw a Motel 6 sign. And because we had our dog with us, we thought, this is perfect. We'll just do it. This guy actually did that, looking back. Uh, he asked me in the parking lot if I had a cigarette. I said, I don't smoke. No, sorry. And then uh, I, I went inside the room and came out again to go to the car for something and uh, didn't see him. He was hiding. And I opened the door to the room, and he materialized and pointed a gun at my abdomen. And my first thought was, I still don't have cigarettes for you. He tossed me into the room. Mm -hmm. and uh, close the door so i'm sitting on the bed and about that time good old chuck de caro comes out of the shower <laughs> soaking wet and stark naked and he sees this scene and eventually maneuvered himself over to um, the bedside table a table between um, beds and we had our two small uh, guns on the table we decided if we're going to go across country then we'll have at least a little protection you know legal guns were both licensed do you have, you have a history in law enforcement? Yes, I do, and he was uh, special forces in, in the uh, U.S. Army, so we're very comfortable with it, you know. And uh, But he didn't think that the, the gunman should see those two weapons there, so he stood in front of it, and I brought my purse over and said, well, let's see what we can do to, to, to help you, you know, to the guy. Um, let me look in here and see if there's anything I can give you. And then I backed up and slipped one of the guns in the purse and handed it to Chuck. Mm. And said to Chuck, take a good look inside. Do you see anything for him that we can give him? And Chuck said, yes, I do. Oh, wow. And put his hand on the gun. And, and then, you know, I went to the other side of the room to split the guy's in, uh, attention. And he was brandishing that gun at both of us back and forth and very agitated. And he decided he wanted Chuck's briefcase. And uh, we didn't really want to do that. And then he grabbed the briefcase and went over to where Chuck was and uh, opened fire. Lots of rounds were exchanged. Lots of rounds were exchanged. And uh, all I can say is that soaking wet and with absolutely no clothes on, Chuck uh, outgunned a guy who had already drawn his pistol.